there is a fine line between confidence and arrogance. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Andrew. Today we are doing a Mother's Day chit chat. Get ready with me and how appropriate that Ruth joined me. Ruth is my daughter-in-law. If you don't know, because I don't think I actually introduced her during the chit chat, but Ruth is my daughter-in-law married to my second son George so she uh, came over with George and Georgie my granddaughter to say hi and happy Mother's Day so sister my mum says filming come and join me so you'll see Ruth during this get ready with me so if you would like to see how I achieved this look so here I am bare faced and everything probably the worst time ever for me <laughs> to sit and do uh, get ready with me I mean it doesn't get more natural than this people let me tell you and the grey hairs have all appeared it's that time again that time of the month when I say that time of the month people <laughs> I mean it's that time of the month where everything needs done again I tell you it seems to come round quicker and quicker every time anyway Cheers, happy Mother's Day because it is a Mother's Day today. Let's do a wee catch up, chit chat and get ready with me. Cheers. Oh, very nice. That was one of the Proseccos that I received for my birthday. It's lovely. Right, I've already done my skincare, which I do as soon, no, as soon as I get washed, I'll do my skincare. So my face is always cleansed and cleaned from the night before. So I just go in in the morning, I wash my face, micellar water, just to take off any excess creams and oils that I've had on from the night before. Then I go in with the La Roche Posay P5. There we go, that one there, that what I use under my eyes or at least that's what I use this morning and most mornings and then the serum I used was the niacinamide from um, Primark there we go and I've also now downloaded an app which tells me how good things are so it rates the products and it, it rates basically it rates the products by ingredients this doesn't come up too well so let, let's do an example <laughs> we know these get ready with me's take forever so anyway these are things that i have already scanned so it's got the wee scan thing here um i probably won't be able to scan this i would need the box to scan it and just like that i had the box in my empties so that was the box that it came in there we go and of course i need the barcode to scan it which is at the bottom this cost four pounds so you just go you press the scan you scan that and this is 45 um, out of a hundred so it's poor <laughs> and um, it's got phenoxynthethanol <laughs> I'll put it here right and um, which is moderate risk and then it also gives you an alternative and here it's got hydrating serum bioma and it's a hundred out of a hundred and it's excellent that's the alternative and then it can give you it gives you more alternatives like that so let me see if i can bring this up so close so you can kind of see what it has scanned yourself there we go just there and let me also tell you what this app is called it's a it's a weird name <laughs> okay the app is called yucca y-u-k-a and it's food and cosmetics find healthy products okay the app kind of looks like that okay and i'm sure i've spoken about all of this on my vlog so let's not waste any more time on it so 
I go in with my serum and then I go in with my CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion for normal to dry skin and this has an SPF 50 and it also comes in an SPF 30. At night time at the moment I'm using Estee Lauder eye serum and Estee Lauder night repair and then I go in with my castor oil and this is the castor oil. I'll link it below. It's organic. It's free of this and free of that and comes in a brown bottle and it does all the things that it's supposed to do. Although I keep getting asked, does castor oil work? People, it works for me. That's what I'm going to say to you. I'm not a dermatologist. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. I'm not any of those things. I just use things on myself things like my collagen powder and all that and i feel they have worked for me i feel right now all the things that i am using are working for me like the castor oil like my collagen like the CeraVe products all of this i feel everything right now is working for me this is my natural face as you can see it as it is, doesn't really get any more natural than that so yeah I think I think right now I'm sticking to what I'm using I'm loving the castor oil I'm doing all those things where I'm putting it in my belly button I'm rubbing it on my knuckles for my joints I'm doing all of those things Rico has just got himself a varicose vein let me tell you and I rub it onto his varicose vein every night as well and give him a wee massage just to ease it for him and he feels it's made a bit of a difference. It might just be the fact that I'm massaging oil into his achy leg. Who knows? People! Right, let's start with the skincare. I decided, I really like this by the way. This is Estee Lauder Futurist Aqua Brilliance watery glow primer so as you can see this is a little sample but i'm actually loving it and this is this has been my discovery of late it is using primers under the estee lauder foundation i love this foundation but i got to an age where i felt it was aging my skin but by adding all of these primers and they all work for me in all different ways so i'm really loving this i think this is really good for a long time i was using this and i thought it was amazing this was the victoria beckham estee lauder i've got myself another one of these tubes kelly gave me one when i was done she said andrew you can have that i don't use it so um I've got that and I've had that for years and people, it still works, it hasn't gone off, I'm not a great believer in throwing things away when the date's gone, gone. I'm old school, if I use something and I feel it's out of date then I throw it away, I look at food and I think that looks out of date, I'm not one for reading, you know, I'm, I'm old school dates and all that and, and people I don't know what I'm looking at if it's off I don't need a date to tell me I'm not going to throw something away that's perfectly good or eatable and people I was brought up <laughs> at an age where you picked off the mould off the bread and the cheese <laughs> now I buy it with the mould and the cheese okay so <laughs> I'm never going to get this done. So there we go. I'm going to go in with my primer. It's got like the typical Estee Lauder kind of, kind of, kind of, <laughs> kind of floral um, smell to it. <laughs> it's a smell, people. Call it what you like. Dress it up. It's a smell. So just rub that on everywhere. There we go. Like so. So I'm a great believer in primers. That's one thing I have learned. It almost feels, you know, they say the older you get, use less. I feel as if the older I get, the more I'm using. <laughs> okay, that's in with that. So we're going to go in now with Estee Lauder. Or will I go in? I kind of change it, but sometimes I do my foundation first and sometimes I do my um, concealer first sometimes i don't use concealer at all but today we're doing a let's get ready with me so let's go in with the concealer i'm going to go in with the vive concealer would i repurchase this no <laughs> 
do you know what? i think the best concealer i've ever used is that is it barry m it's not barry m it's the maybelline one eraser i feel that's nothing beats that it's nice it's light i don't feel it settles in now who was i watching just recently who said i'm gonna go and try this actually hold on I'm back and I've got company. There we go. We've got Ruth here. She's going to chat away with me, aren't you? Ruth, you got any gossip to tell us? How, no. you, how are you enjoying being self employed? Yeah, I like it. Okay. <laughs> That's not what she tells us. No, I do. It's just stressful. <laughs> right. So, the trick that I recently saw, right, is that you get your setting spray, right? So you put your concealer on so you won't have this problem but when you get to my grand old age you have lots of lines oh, i've got loads here now mm. this is this is what you call lines right but the thing is when you use concealer right it sits in the lines but apparently a trick for stopping that is to put setting spray on your wet sponge thing what are these called a little blender something. yeah your beauty blender right mm -hmm. and then you pat it in and it's supposed to stop the lines because it sets it so we shall see if that actually ha and the reason i go down there is because i'm like got deep lines there and if you put a lighter color it brings it out mm -hmm. as opposed to do you like that the weave stuff but I just said that I, I, I probably wouldn't buy that again. I, I like for me for my age group is that um, that. What's it? Oh, I've used that before. I like that. It's nice. I've always used that. See, I think that works. I know. See, side on it. I think it looks like it works. Right. It does. Obviously, it doesn't take the lines away, but it stops them from sitting like sinking in. into it. Yes. Type thing. And I think that works. Got lean back in this <laughs> Anyway. Cheers, happy Mother's happy Day. Happy Mother's Day. Oh. Right, that's the concealer and I just wanted to try that and then we'll see after we put the foundation on. Ooh, that's what I've got on today. What? It's happy the... everything weave. <laughs> Where did you get a sweatshirt? Got it delivered the other day. Did you buy I'm it? slightly obsessed <laughs> with it. Oh, it's actually a it's really lovely, lovely sweatshirt. How much was that? I think they're 45. Alright. But so she's clothes. So she's getting into clothes as well. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! I'm really hoping she brings a perfume out with that scent. See a bath scent. Oh my god, it's amazing. And uh, you said the the oil. Oh, was like honestly, really nice. Makes your skin feel so good, and it smells lovely. And you can just rub it in as a body oil. I need to order some. And I ordered a bronzer. I like that as well. Alright. Ah, uh, she, she, well, I was going to say she raves about a bronzer, but, but it's, <laughs> it's her product. She's going to rave <laughs> about her, her products. Anyway, have you noticed? Did you get any notifications from YouTube? Oh, you're not monetized, are you on YouTube? No. 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 So I was just going to tell my people, have you noticed that a lot of YouTubers that haven't been on for a while are now coming back? So when I look at my feed now, all these YouTubers that not, you know, the small channels that haven't been uploading videos are all of a sudden appearing on my feed. And the reason is that YouTube has said, if you haven't created content in the last six months, I think it is, you're getting demonetized. Mm. So what happened was they would upload these videos, okay, and as long as they're up there, which they are, I mean, YouTube are not going to take the videos away. They were still getting paid for the videos without actually making any more videos. But now YouTube has you said... need to basically keep working to get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you don't keep uh, making consistent content, then you're not getting paid. Which I think is very fair. Yeah, I kind of agree with that too, to be fair. So... There we go. I just thought I would share that. So if you've noticed... The, the argument is, if you do such a good video... Yeah. Who's to say that that's... It's not really someone's... No, I don't know how to say this. 
Oh, I forget that. I don't know well, that yeah, yeah, you'll see more. If they've made the video and it's a good video, they should still be getting paid for it because they've made I mean, the has they've hit made that people, yeah, they've, it's popular. They've it's, made the video, mm -hmm. but what's happening? Yeah, but YouTube's argument is well, Why should it's you not keep very showing your stuff if you're not. Yeah, you know you. Yeah. Give and take, people, isn't it? It's give and take. Okay, does that look blended to you? Mm -hmm. okay. See when I I look at my skin, okay, it's hard when you look and then I look hair. round and I look at Ruth's skin. It's like I'm actually and it's like there's no lines or anything. Oh, no, I'm getting really quite bad. Ruth, fine lines there is in there. nothing, nothing on your face. Nothing. It's, it's really strange. Cause I'm like, ah, <laughs> and then you you think you look really good, and then you go, <laughs> you see, yeah, you, like... you see, you see you. Sitting right next to you. I've got bad brown lines. The frown too much. Oh well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you end up like that. Like that. Yeah. Like, like, what are you talking about? Yeah. That's because we are very expressive when we speak. <laughs> <laughs> Georgie's gonna end up the same. Oh. Georgie's expressions. I look at her and think, oh my, God, she's very. What was it I said to her the other day? She stood and she. Oh, she found a caramel. <laughs> she told me she. Found, I eat. Yeah, yeah. Caramel that she hates. <laughs> You should have seen her face when this when this caramel appeared. It was the whole <laughs> like, how dare you still keep hiding these? You know. She started this thing where she goes, "Are you serious? Are you serious?" <laughs> oh, and every time I say to her, like, "Where do you hear that? That's not something we say." You, mummy. You, mummy. Well, she's driving me insane. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. She's been a wee tour rag just now. This thing's a nightmare to open. See if you put it in the wrong way round. Do you have this? The I Chanel. Used to use that years ago. This is I years old. This thing lasts forever. <laughs> so late time. I actually think the one I used was my mum's and I stole it. You stole it? I stole it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit of Scottish right there. You stole it. <laughs> right, so we're going in with the Chanel bronzer thing. See, these brought out one of those that are meant to be great. It was just a powder. I think everybody bronzer. has now. That was a. Did they still do it? They must still do it. Eh? This will have, but they've re. Formulated it. Not that so the girls put up a post this morning of pictures together for the Mother's Day. For Mother's Day on Facebook and Ruth <laughs> zoomed on one of the pictures and she says, Andrew, you look like a right Greek girl. You know, well, that's a compliment. I know, I, know. I take it as a compliment. <laughs> She's look at your chin. I mean, it was, <laughs> it was years ago. <laughs> I could actually. It was, but how I you know, but you, did. <laughs> you and I think you literally looked about twenty in it. And I was a grand. I could be a grand at that point. Is you that, do was have that, a good face structure, though. It's was that with Theo? Jaw. Was that with you yeah. when Theo was born? Because uh, Kelly's mum. You've got high cheekbones and a good jaw. It's a shame about the rest of you. <laughs> I'm so cheeky. Just as well, I'm kind of. Very, I don't mean it, you know. I don't. I'm mean very it. confident within myself. Isn't Wait, it? no. <laughs> I'm beautiful today. I think. I think my people are getting that idea as well. I mean, I put up a video. That is funny. Just for sometimes she's, she'll just send a voice note. You'll open it, driving in the car. She's like that. Girls, I just look great today. <laughs> <laughs> my skin is glowing. It's, <laughs> it's quite so down to the castor oil. It's. <laughs> Good jeans, people. Good jeans. No, my mum looked. Your mum looked fat. Yeah, my mum looked great for her age as well. I hate this when we say for her age, you know. But you know what are you supposed to look your like? Your mum was quite young though. I always thought she was quite a young mum. She not. But she what was twenty. She, she was you? twenty-five when she had yeah. me. That's like I'd had nearly the three of mine at that age. But I had them all by twenty-eight. Mm-hmm. And when I had look, the um. I think I was classed as an older mum. When I had a look at Whereas the majority of people now are waiting till they're uh, like 30s. That's right. How, how old were you when you had Georgie? Eh. Uh, what age did I get married? 24? I was 26 when I had Georgie. 26. So that was classed. That's probably I still quite young. Young. Mm -hmm. What was Kelly when she had Theo? Well, she got married. She, he's 10. What's oh, Kelly? Yeah, what, age is, what age is Kelly now? 35. So 25, uh, she was about the same. Oh, then you, you two were quite old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, let's go in with some highlighter. What highlighter do I Oh, I brought old school Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder, one of my all-time favourites. 
anybody who has these sends them to me. <laughs> do they? <laughs> Why do they not like it? I think they're not as much as I do. I'm going with the highlighter. You really can't beat double wear, can't you not? I'm sorry. The foundation, uh -huh. I know. I, just, I know. I, every time I try something else, I just go back to it. But you, you fell out with it for a while. You kept saying it, it was drying up your skin and blah. Yeah, it was when because I used it ever because I, I probably used it too young to be honest with you. And then I changed to the double wear light, which I absolutely loved. And then for some reason, I felt it started. I was getting spots and stuff. And then I oh, went and right. spoke to the girl, and she said they changed the formula up at the fort. Oh really? And that's when she said, that's when I went back to the normal double wear, but I mix it with like a foundation or a, what was it? What do you mean a foundation? I don't mean that. What was the one, is it the wee bijou? Uh, Remember I mixed it with the healthy glow bijou? Oh is right. Is that it's called? Bijou? Bourgeois? No. Bourgeois? The one that's with a B and it's like bougie. <laughs> Bourgeois? Bourgeois, Bourgeois, I think it was. Bourgeois, bourgeois. And I used to mix it with that and it gave they the same making that. They stopped making that for a while and yeah, then... Yeah, then they brought out another one. Right, okay. Um, but now what I use, because I've stopped, because they've stopped making that healthy glow and I didn't like the new one, I literally just use my Vive first and then just use a small amount of the... Which Vive, which one do you use the... No, I'm meaning that I use Skin that, the concealer, the oh, concealer. Oh, the concealer, right. Because it's smoother. And then I don't feel I need to use as much. By the way, I think that trick worked. The only problem is I've noticed when I use this as a setting spray, it brings me out in spots. Oh. So I used it when I went down to Milton Keynes and I ended up with a great big spot here. I used it last week, not last week, two weeks ago when we were in Cameron House mm -hmm. and I got a spot here. So it's got to be that. It's really got to be that. Right, so you not, heard, oh sorry, anyway. go on. Have you heard of a thing called vol, volume? Oh, I can't remember it now, it's my phone. Vol, vol, oh, it doesn't matter. It's basically like, almost works as slightly like a filler. So you use it for so long. Oh, right. And it brings the fat cells to the top. So that it, in, but it gets amazing reviews. Volumide or something, volumide or something. I googled it. I can't remember, my phone's not up here. Anyway. I, I, I do think that it, it doesn't look as bad as it normally does when I use concealer, so that trick might just work. Okay, so we're going in with the Naked 2 palette. You used to love these. That's a thing I don't ever use. I should give you them all. You used to not. I don't ever put mm. eyeshadow on. Do you not? Ever. Like, literally. I think that's a lot. You've not got eyeshadow on now? The awards night I put eyeshadow on that I had. But I oh don't. No. And I, I used to love them. It's a phase of loving. I you used that. to your browns, you used to blend it really well, you always used to lovely. So, as always, I'm going to go in with a light colour. So I'll probably go in, I'm going to go in with this colour here. Which is, I don't know, I can't, and there's absolute booty call. So, I'm just going to go over, the, so I'm going to use that almost like a uh, base to start Please off. I'll get the seal in your mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I do like. Do you know what? I've come to the conclusion I don't like palettes because I am the type of person that likes to use things up. Mm -hmm. It takes me too long to use these things. Do you know? It's just one of my weird things. Right, okay, so I've gone in with the base and then I'm going to start going kind of a middle type of colour. Um, I think I'm going to go in with that tawny there. Tawny, that was my favourite. Tawny colour there. And is that, is it called? I'm sure it's it is. It's called Tease. Tease, I think. Right. So that's just in the middle, just to start. I'm forgetting the camera's up there because you're sitting Sorry. here. The, the mirror's there, I'm forgetting. So just in the middle, just go here. And just blend and then again with a, a darker color I'm going to go in with this one here which is yuck why okay it yuck. looks like yuck yuck maybe <laughs> <laughs> right in the crease just in here and then that's I'm going to start blending that out is that how you do your eyeshadows when you did them yeah and then I started, what I used to love is doing the wee, 
like the shadowed like underneath under there slightly. I never used to do it, and then I did it once and I loved do it. Do you use a liner underneath? No, mm -mm. no, you don't. I'm actually starting to not use a liner that I put on today. I feel like I'm going more. Well, on your lid. See, mm -hmm. I feel my makeup's bare without a, a liner. On. I literally use just my highlighter under my eyebrow and my wee corner of my eye, and that's it. I'm quite boring my makeup. I have the same look every single day. And I wear far too much blusher. Look at it like that. You always, you always wore a lot of blusher. I know it's bad, isn't it? My wee head looks tiny. <laughs> you trying to say mine looks big? <laughs> <laughs> no, I it's because I'm closer to the camera. <laughs> um, right, so this looks kind of just nah to me <laughs> but that's basically my base and from there <clears throat> is when i'm going to start making it a little bit more dramatic just to add some emphasis we're going with a different brush and a darker color and very lightly i'm going to start building remember a smoky eye used to be like such a big thing to the point where sometimes I look like a drag queen. <laughs> See, when I look back in pictures, oh my god, people used to say to me, You're so good at makeup. And now I look back and Ruth, think, do you know Why the hell did you think that? I look horrific. I had all this eyeliner way up here and big lines. I used to use the sailor tape trick and I would have a big line. And I, I do you remember doing your makeup on my channel? Yeah, it was awful. I think <laughs> I should take it down. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it underneath. No, don't. It's so bad. That was the time I was like, you're so good at your makeup. And it is, oh, it's, it's my eyes. They're horrific. I don't know why. The thing that you, the thing with you that really, uh, okay, Ruth and I are having such a good time. <laughs> we actually look back at some of the footage and some Ruth and you need to cut that out. <laughs> Not cutting anything out, people. We're very real here. So, um, what was the, what, what was the footage there about? Oh, her eyebrows, her eyebrows, oh. yeah, when Ruth draws in. So I was saying that Ruth's eyebrows are all drawn in. And, um, oh, so that means we cut out all the footage about being hairy. <laughs> and Ruth showing me, <laughs> showing me the hairs on her legs. So the, it cut, the camera cut out because I've been filming for so long. And um, we didn't realise. So basically we had the conversation about how hairy Ruth isn't. Oh, right. I was going to so, say, like, no, that <laughs> hairy. She basically, she isn't hairy, but she also went on to say that she started lasering with her own wee laser machine. Mm -hmm. So, that's all the footage that you missed out, that Ruth... Has got hairy legs. <laughs> ...draws her eyebrows on. <laughs> and we were basically laughing at me sitting here with them, these ears. So, I just went in with the darker eyeshadow in here and just drew it in and just put kind of more emphasis. And now I'm going to go in with the old favourites, the faithful... Uh, Charlotte Tilbury eyes to mesmerise in star gold and jean. So jean, I'm going to bring in here and it's just going to lighten everything up. If I get enough on the brush. Wee jean. Wee jean. Is it meant to be genie? Is it? I don't know. Just like sparkling. I've always called it, right, I've always called it jean. Maybe it's not. I do, do you know, I do like Charlotte Tilbury makeup. Yeah, you always use that flawless stuff then. Is that what it's called? It's Ke Kelly loves that. I'm going to get it the next time as a base. I tried it. I don't like it. What do you not like about it? I think that made my... It's quite soft, isn't it? Is that a primary type? It's a prime. Is that? Yeah, I remember it just making my makeup just slide off. But I'm not... I don't set my makeup and stuff. See, I don't either unless it's a special occasion. I really need to get a... But I got this and it's supposed to be alcohol free, long lasting, blah, 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 all of that. You know when I was having that perioral dermatitis, I was mm -hmm. trying to go for, but I'm sure it's that that brings me out in spots. So Georgie's downstairs playing dominoes with I know we're going to go soon, Georgie's a bit grumpy today. Is he grumpy? <laughs> you say my son is grumpy. He's grumpy today. Why He's is he tired? Gr oh, we're having a terrible time with Bo. Uh, so she's keeping us up. That's uh, Ruth's um, oh, the dash, Boris. dash yeah. round. Boris had a major cardiac episode today. Today? 
Mm -hmm. How come? The first time he's had it in months and it was so sad. He, I was in the bath and he actually came running because he was so scared and he couldn't breathe. Like, what do you do? on for ages. Just the, They always said to me when they have that, just stay, uh, try and comfort him and keep him calm. But it's, it went on so long, it's the first time I proper panicked and I tried to phone George, but then he stopped. I got myself in a tizzy after that. So basically Boris has he's a heart a murmur. He's got heart valve. So he's on heart failure tablets. So that was last year he got diagnosed, last summer. And they put one tablets and said it can maybe, I think they said about a year or so, it can prolong the life. That's coming up to a year. So what, he would only live for another year? Or they, they can't guarantee it, but they say usually dogs can go another wee year or so with it. What age is he? He'll be 12 coming up. He's a good age, isn't he? I know, but he's going to break my heart. Oh, well, tell me about I it. I think because he's a boy as well. So that was, I'm going from that to Sorry. eyeshadows. Uh, that was, again, I think this is a Maybelline product again. Things have worn out, but yeah, it's a Maybelline brow tattoo, which again, I've had for a very long time. There we go. And I just do that. Not because I need eyebrows, but basically just trying to cover up the grey hairs. I've got enough eyebrows. <laughs> I'm blessed in that way. Okay, I'm now going to go in with my liner, which is the Eyes to Mesmerize, which, blinking battery, is this one here. Uh, Scandalize. There we go. So I'm going to put this on because I need to concentrate and then I'll come back. Okay, I am back. <laughs> quite a while later stayed like this but it's a good way of seeing if the concealer hack worked with the setting spray and i think it has honestly it's been quite a while a couple of glasses of prosecco later because what happened was my battery had run out when i went off to do my eyeliner mm, it's starting to creep now it is starting to creep now. Um, so my battery had also died. I had the other one charging us to Ruth. Oh, let's just go downstairs and chill. So Ruth and I <laughs> went downstairs and I'll finish off later. They are now away to go and see Ruth's mum to wish her a happy Mother's Day as well. Oh, it is crinkling. Can we see it is starting to... Where is that? It's just go in and just flatten it out Let me, let's go in with a wee bit more so i've done my eyeliner now i hate to do my eyeliner on camera i actually like to be standing up for some strange reason and right up against the mirror so basically what i do is i pull my eye tight and i start from this end here but not the flick so just here and then I bring it across and then when I do the flick I keep my eye open so we get the flick going up the way because if your eye is kind of if you're doing all this it's not sitting where your eye would normally sit and that's the thing with the flick you have to keep your eye in the position that you want it and normally I just draw along and do that on both sides and that's how I do now what I will say is when I do the my eyeliner on this eye I will start from this end and draw but when I do my eyeliner from this eye I start from this end do not ask me why but that's how I do it and then I open it up and draw it out at the ends and that's how I get the flick on my eyes so that's my eye makeup I'm going to go in with my mascara now what I wanted to say to you this is an amazing mascara this is the Chanel Noir Allure Mascara number 10 Noir looks like that this was a little sample it is amazing I am going to go in with a primer because when I'm doing like my makeup properly I like to go in with the primer this is supposed to be <laughs> and that's when the Prosecco comes in my people okay right i was reading up on this mascara and it's supposed to be really good for your eyelashes as well conditioning and all of that 
I don't know if you get the effect of it if you're kind of first of all coating your eyelashes with primer now I have been using the castor oil on my eyelashes they I don't think I've been using it long enough now but I do see a slight difference not so much I don't know I was gonna say not that no not so much in the length it's not like using a serum but like I said I've, I haven't been using it that long but my eyelashes are better than before I started using serum or anything because I really started kind of my I always used to have kind of all right eyelashes and again when you start going through the changes and you start getting older you start noticing these things like your eyelashes not as long not as strong not as thick as they used to be but bearing in mind I'm using collagen as well and I honestly believe it's not one thing that I've been doing but it's all the things that I have been doing Honestly, I mean, Ruth was saying, you know, I'll go on to our chats and I go, oh, I look amazing, oh, my skin's amazing. I'm just trying to say to the girls, this stuff is working. You know, learn from me, basically, is what I'm saying to them. Because we all go through phases of, you know, when our skin changes, as we get older, we're kind of looking at our skin. Then we get used to it again. We get used to the change of our skin, you know, and we go, oh, the foundation's not working this cream's not working, that's not working, but what's actually happening is we are getting older, our skin is changing, and then we get used to it. So I'm basically used to my older skin now, but it's looking like a healthy, mature skin. And I know I recently made a video and I said, you know, I don't see an older woman in the mirror you know, my when I look at my reflection, I don't see an older woman. What I meant by that was I don't see what we classify as an older woman, but of course I see, you know, I'm not a teenager. I'm not in my 20s, 30s, 40s. I can see that, but I can also see that at 59, I look good. <laughs> Do you know, I think people, <laughs> you have to know me, this is the type, I am a, I am a very confident person <laughs> and it can come off quite, I don't know, what's the word, it can, you know, I think people are always, we get used to people always putting themselves down, I am not like that, I don't put myself down, I'm very honest about myself, I'm very honest about what I see and that's how I feel I was brought up to be very confident and I have done that with my boys as well and uh, the boys are very much like that I think I've said that quite a few times on the videos this comes from my dad my dad was very much you know a confident person and he built that in me I've said this before in the past he wouldn't if if I said something negative about myself, he wouldn't allow me to take that any further. He was like, what are you talking about? This is da 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 da. He would always like, and I would go, do you know that way? But when somebody else has given you that confidence, he never allowed me to feel kind of bad about myself. So yeah, that's where that comes from. And I've passed that on to the boys as well they are very confident in themselves and the same thing is happening with my grandchildren because it's getting passed down which is a really good trait to have and I will say here <laughs> there is a very very fine line which I used to quite often get told by teachers when I used to go and have the parent teacher interviews about my sons they always used to say to me, there is a fine line between confidence and arrogance. <laughs> there is, and, and it's very true, there is a fine line between confidence and arrogance. But I think the more you mature, the older you get, you understand the fine line you understand it it's about maturing and it's life anyway 
I just thought I would tell you that. Okay, let's go in with the primer. So I am using my usual primer, which is Lash Paradise. So I'm just going to go in with that, which will just add some thickness. And does it add length? Yes, it does. It just seems to just add something pretty beautiful to the eyelashes. There we go. We're just going to build up the eyelashes. By the way, I have just finished reading a book. <laughs> easy reading very easy reading but i'm not gonna lie it's one of those books you're like waiting for the couple to get it together come on it took me over halfway through the book to get to that bit <laughs> i was telling the girls at the gym the other day <laughs> like i've always said i'm a very open character so and i was thinking oh god i was waiting for that sex scene <laughs> <laughs> and waiting for it to happen and then I says eventually over halfway through the book let me show you the book that's a book I've showed you before on the vlogs so I finally finished it the love hypothesis the New York Times bestseller I finally finally finished it I actually really enjoyed it, it was nice to get into reading a book so I says because Finally, I got into the actual sex scene, like there's literally one sex scene. Well, I'll get into that. And they said to me, was it worth waiting for? Oh my goodness me, it was good. Actually, do you remember when we watched that something Fifty Shades of Grey and all that? See, there were so many sex scenes in that that I um I used to I got bored of them. I literally would see when it was another time her here, there and everywhere and I was like it got boring, but as that one there was one and that was it. One good one. And then at the end of the book, what it does is so it's all about kind of the girl's perspective of the story and then right at the end you've got like it's called a bonus chapter where it's his side of how they got it together and how he was feeling. <laughs> I, f I find it very hard to believe that a man would put so much thought into actually having <laughs> sex. Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? <gasps> um, intimate relationships. Let's see intimate relationships. Am I allowed to say the... I don't see why not. Anyway, so yeah, and it, he seems to have put a lot of thought into it whilst he's performing the intimate relationship act, which I find very hard to believe. I find it very hard to believe any man would put that much thought into it. But um, very nice if they do. <laughs> I bet you never thought you were going to be listening to that during a get ready with me, just as well, Ruth. So we, she wouldn't be surprised honestly um so that is the uh, primer on now let's go in with this oh i'm loving it but it's so expensive for a mascara i mean i used to buy the dior mascara and all that what did i do with it oh there it's here so let's go in with that is it worth a read listen it's easy reading you're not gonna learn anything from it but it's but i enjoyed it i see it's nice to, people Oh my goodness me, look. Look at that. Oh my goodness, look. I recently, I was watching a video for some reason of, um, for something, one of my videos and I was, it came across, I don't know, I was doing some sort of research or something or linking of it and I came across, I must have been at the time that I was using the Revita Lash, which really does grow your eyelashes, but it does have certain side effects. As far as I'm concerned, allegedly, you know, all that carry on that we have to see. Um, I did love it at the time. My eyelashes, oh, I can feel these touches. My eyelashes, oh, I was like that. Oh my God, look at those eyelashes. They actually looked fake. They were so long. And I remember, you know, when I was using that Revital Lash, when I used to go and get my eyebrows and things done, you know, I would always get asked, um, are they your eyelashes? That's how long my eyelashes got with that Revital Lash, but I'm not willing to put my eyes... 
like my eyes were just never right i was always having problems with my contact lenses i felt you know my eyelashes look great but i felt at the time i was getting quite dark under the eyes and all of that i feel at the moment my i'm not i mean i have lots of wrinkles under my eyes um but i feel they look much better now than they have for a long time is that mascara not amazing isn't it amazing i love it i would definitely pay the money for this i've got quite a few to get through just now so on the go i have this one which is also a really good one i don't know what it is about this the consistency of this i'm really really loving but um so i've got that on the go which is a good one which is the mac <laughs> it's the mac i've also got this one which is billion dollar lashes from premac both really good but this there is just i don't know if there's if it's the blackness of it i don't know what it is but it's amazing okay so isn't that highlighter lovely it really is i mean i've always loved it i've been using the estee lauder the this one bronze goddess and people say this is a dupe or oh, this is very much like this it is not look at that look at it just this is all broken up i don't really want to open it i'm kind of use this like trying to get rid of it it's a very deep kind of bronzy gold color and we have kind of mm, they look the same but they're, they're not the same i absolutely love it i love what it's giving so bronzer i've not not bronzer i've not put any um blush on see i never said rouge i said blush we're going with chanel and we are going with the chains de chanel okay do we remember that when they launched the chains um collection there we go it's almost like a bronzer as well mm, beautiful so i got my mother's day present from george and ruth so they got me the matching top they got me a small again um to the leggings remember the leggings they got me for my birthday they got me the matching top now so so let's go on with lip liner and i'm gonna go with the refi lip liner so this is supposed to be a sculpting lip liner i can't remember if i said but i did highlight my lips i feel if you highlight your lips it just gives you that pouty so they already look much better somebody was asking me if i used like if i oh can't even rub it in together now it dries so quickly if i put this on the whole of my lip then put the setting oh it's the packaging's not very good i reckon there's a lot of people that say it will break and all that you have to be really careful with it so if i covered my lips with the lip liner then put the setting so we got the other side of it which is a setting would it hold it probably would but oh, i think this is dried up already but it's very drying and you'd still have to put a gloss over it because it looks like cracking so i've rubbed that in now that it's quite and i think it just makes your lips look bigger straight away it really does so it is really really good okay i'm gonna go in with a chanel lipstick my old one i'm trying to finish this off so this is rouge allure 14 a passion like that that is it so i'm gonna use my brush that i recently got from for my birthday from 
my friend Lux and Roses. So I'm going to go in. It's a beautiful. It's a Chanel brush, and it's absolutely beautiful. Is that the is that the thick side? No, that's the I. So it has a side where you kind of outline, and it's stiff enough but soft enough, if you know what I mean. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the brush. Oh, it's a love. It's honestly a really lovely brush. Okay, that's the lips. They do look amazing. I mean, amazing. Right, I'm going to go in with this because I've been talking about these things. So I'm trying to use the things that I've been talking about. You know, like the <laughs> the Refi lip liner, which I do think. I mean, I'm looking at my lips and I'm feeling as if what an amazing difference. Honestly. So, yeah. So I'm going to go in now with the plumping Maybelline. So it's a big difference to how my lips looked at the beginning to now. Right, let's go in with the plumping. There we go. And while that is setting, I'm not going to take a glass of Prosecco now because this stuff does have chilli in it, people. I'm going to go in with a liner. Mm -hmm under here just to give time for my lips to see if that plumping makes any difference there we go like so so again this is kind of a grey blue and it looks like 60, 61 denim pulse. Oh, this is the make that Ruth was talking about earlier on. Bourgeois. B-O-U-R-J-O-I-S. Bourgeois? Bourgeois? Okay. I know. What a difference. <laughs> right. Then get the white. And we can go in at the corners because it just brightens the whole eye area I just love this See, I just think this makes a big difference when you add this okay people the chili is settling in and again you can add some in here and in here yeah and that's that I don't really like to use, where's my mascara gone, um, kind of on, on an everyday basis I don't like to use any underneath because that I think that's where the smudginess starts, I'm talking about mascara, obviously I cannot see, oh I put it back in the box, there we go, so I'm just going to touch, just touch on my bottom eyelashes, like so. There we go, maybe just a bit more mascara. And that is my makeup look. Do we like? If you feel it's a bit too kind of harsh looking on the sides, that's not too bad. This one's not, it's not, it's just slightly off white, so it's not too harsh in the corners. But if you do feel, just, just brush it in and just kind of blend it in underneath and it just gives you that look i might just add just a bit of more glow because i do like a bit of glow again this is that collection i've had these things for years yes i have and they haven't gone off victoria beckham Estee Lauder, and this was like a pot of kind of <laughs> vaseline and glitter when i was younger and i was kind of playing about before i was married when i was a young child playing about with makeup i used to get vaseline and and I suppose before I was really supposed to be wearing makeup, but I used to get Vaseline, I used to put it on my cheeks to add some glow. I used to put it on my lips to add some glow. Started at a young age, people. And I just put some there, just adds a bit of glow, just 
a bit of a look. Because we do like a bit of glow. What do we think? Nice. I think it's lovely. <laughs> there we go. Let's take this off. Oh, my hair is actually, oh, it's going to be really flat now because it's been <laughs> stuck under that for hours, literally hours, because I sat there for a wee, a wee while, quite a while. We were just chatting there, but my hair is going to do more. Should we do that last wash? It is today, Sunday.